Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is part two of the trip to Copenhagen that we took to the Volkswagen ID bus media drive. Um, we ended part one with me going to bed in the hotel and then the next morning I didn't film anything. That's why I'm doing it here at home. Um, uh, we just went to the to breakfast then afterwards we took the id5 gtx to the event which is like 10 kilometers but it took 15 minutes through the city um, and then we got an introduction to the car so what we need to know with a few other people and they informed us there will be lunch and everything and what happens through the day then we got a bus and we drove a bit first we took uh, drone footage and it's in the normal videos which are always forget I think it's here um, uh, we, uh, we did two videos driving the the ID bus and then before that just stationary what it has and everything so check out those videos but then we took the bus to Sweden and that what happened then We're now in Sweden. We went over the bridge from uh, Copenhagen to Malmö. The bridge is there. We'll show you in a bit because I'm going up there on a little platform to look at. But we took the bus here. Uh, I did my little driving test. It's, I don't think I can do a range test here. It's just always 110 and or then city. It's not real highway. The same as I, I doubt that I can drive it down to 15% or anything. We are at 80 now. We drove 50 kilometers or so. We started with 96. Um, it's just not possible because we go back then for lunch and then we drive a bit more, charge it hopefully and see if it's the same charging curve as the ID5 GTX, which I think it has. And then we go for dinner and then that's it. <gasps> Let's go up to the platform. We went now over this bridge from Copenhagen to Malmö and we're in Sweden. Sweden, how cool is that? Never been to Sweden and never been to Denmark before. So that's interesting. And we have, we drove the bus here and we have a little platform here. Maybe we put, take out the drone and we took this fancy bridge here. God, we love bridges. Whee! <laughs> and you won't believe it, from here, from this highway here to this, you have to drive 11 kilometers. <laughs> because you have to go off and then turn around and then all the way <laughs> from the highway to here is 11 kilometers. And that's Copenhagen here on the other side. You can't even see. I don't think it focuses because it's so far away. Now Matthias is driving the bus and I'm passenger. It's nice to see me as a passenger once in a while. It's cool to see that. Oh. <laughs> metal in Sweden. So it's metal time. This is tough. Yeah, we're going back to dinner. 25 kilometers takes 20 minutes. There should be a traffic jam, but who knows how long that is. Sweden is nice. Just filmed a few drone shots. Oh, uh, as a passenger, it feels more <laughs> like more power. That's interesting. <laughs> when driving, it was uh, nothing. Highway in Sweden going to Denmark again. Yeah, 
I got one thing wrong with the whole review where I said that this armrest here in the door is too high. Of course it is, because there's a normal armrest here anyways, on both sides. So this is the perfect height. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wiping control is totally different. It's not on the right because there's the gear. <laughs> Thank you, product tester. <laughs> Ooh, rain. Look at how many buses are standing here and just watched someone park the cars and it's so funny they park them except for this one they park them almost perfectly and when we came here in the morning I took a picture look at them how they stand <laughs> it's almost by the centimeter that they park them like that in the morning the angle was was perfect too oh my god so someone <laughs> is taking hours to park them perfectly and these are not all cars by the way i think there are 30 cars or so there are more here look at that who's driving all of these cars if you order the car this is why you don't get a car because they're all impressive <laughs> oh god yeah. we just ate it was awesome it was not a lot of food but it was awesome We were just at Lidl. <laughs> Lidl is a German grocery store and we're in Sweden now and so I wanted to see... We, we drove back from, from lunch with the bus to Sweden because it's just 30 minutes. Um, wanted to check out Lidl and I got sweets. I got vegan sweets. Sour stuff. <laughs> I got sour stuff. He got bread. <laughs> <laughs> plain, <laughs> plain bread. Uh, what, what do you eat with that? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Good answer. Hey, almost got kids killed. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the back and uh, while driving is so much space. I mean, this seat is even far, far behind than his seat and I still have so, oh, so much. Ooh, oh, that's the stuff. Yeah, look at that. I don't, I don't have armrests. Just this one, not in the middle. I can get to the stuff in the trunk if I want to. Ooh, tunnel! Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel! Oh. You see the lights here in the back now? Let's look. Ah, ambient light here. And here. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have to turn on the light. Oh, <laughs> light! Oh. Oh, I can see. So fun. Charging at Ionity, <laughs> turning heads, people interested in the car, always, always. Just charging for 10 minutes. We have 93 kilowatt to 48 percent. That's okay. That is okay at 48 percent. I never showed you the front.
Yeah, it does. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, so it's, it's the next day. Let me tell you about our day yesterday because it was fun. ID5, we already drove 280 kilometers from Copenhagen here to Abendra, I think. And a better route planner told us that no charger is free, but they, are too, they were too free when we arrived. And one arrived, no problem, but there's a Porsche Taycan blocking. We could barely get in, but it's fine. Okay, how was the day yesterday? So we, we tested ID bus all day and then uh, at six we wanted to bring the car back to to the hotel, not to the event, because there's the Ironman and everything's closed. So we wanted to drive back, but then the road was already closed at six. So we tried to go around and there was traffic jam and we couldn't make it. We couldn't make it, we asked, uh, we, we drove even bad into where it was closed off. There was a little part where we could go through with the bus. And then a p police even stopped us and said, hey, you're not allowed to be in here. And then, well, yeah, sorry, but how can we get to the hotel? And he looked, checked and checked and said, I don't think you can get to the hotel. So we called Volkswagen, hey, we cannot get there. Police told us it doesn't work. Okay, come back to the event. Someone will drive, we will find a way. And then we went back to the, to the event and then he drove us and totally fine <laughs> where he went the roads that he used was nothing closed off we just went there in no time we were so embarrassed uh, then uh, 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 we we gathered and went with a tiny little boat over to uh, a little raft over to uh, uh, I don't know 200 meters over the water and then to a restaurant and then we had I don't know how many appetizers and stuff the olives bread all this kind of stuff food till 10 then we went back but this time we walked over a little bridge and then uh, bed and uh, uh, slept and and uh, one thing again was which is amazing for me <laughs> I checked on the app on the I, uh, ID5 GTX to see and with version 3.0 you can see if the car is locked or not and it said it's not locked because <laughs> me idiot I lock all the time but then we needed one more thing and I guess before we went off with I didn't lock and there was nothing important in there except for one bag and Volkswagen arranged that uh, there a, was a person there, a security guy, got the bag and, and took it uh, on him because the car was really unlocked. That's me. I know, embarrassing again. They will never forget me there. Volkswagen never forgets me because there's always, I'm always have problems and special <laughs> requests and stuff. It's always horrible. The poor people, I apologize 2,000 times. Um, I got the bag, we got the bag this morning, car was still unlocked, of course, because in the app you cannot lock the car, you see that it's locked or not. And um, I thought that in, in the app you get a warning if it's not locked, but I never got a warning also, so I didn't no notice until it was 9 p.m. or so. Doesn't matter. Then this morning um, um, was again. <laughs> <laughs> a, a hoopla by Volkswagen. They told us, okay, go over the bridge. A bus will uh, uh, pick you up and drive you to your car, to the event. And we went over there. No one's there. It's, it's 8. It was supposed to be at, at 8 uh, a.m. No one's there. We had breakfast before. We called. There's no one here. Ah, uh, that was wrong. Someone will bring you somewhere where the, uh, you get picked up and it's not over the bridge. So we went back to the hotel. It was just 500 meters. It's fine. We went back to the hotel. They... Uh, then we had to wait for a person to bring us somewhere. Then they, they, they picked us up, drove around. And again, everything is locked today because of the Ironman. They're already biking and stuff. Uh, uh, and they took 20 minutes, uh, I don't know, a long time for a few kilometers. Uh, we arrived at, at 10 after 9 or so and we went on. And now we're here charging and then we go on. Uh, we will film a bit on the road now, but... That's it now, I will have to look and have to pee and stuff.
Hamburg sucks. <laughs> Just another one and a half hours of traffic jam through Hamburg. Uh, it's annoying. <laughs> they have one highway through the city and there's the biggest construction zone ever. Really annoying. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we're on the way to the next charger. Hopefully from now on it's a bit less. We'll see. We're going to charge a bit more on this one because we have to drive 200 kilometers after this. And so we try to get some food in us. Anything to add? <laughs> he's, a, he's a one word man. <laughs> Every time a video, yeah, food, drive, uh. <laughs> or that. Still driving, we're almost in Wolfsburg. No, that's way too close. My nose is way too big for this. <laughs> no, almost in Wolfsburg where this car came from. So the came, no, there it is, Wolfsburg. So this car was, <laughs> this car was brought to me from Wolfsburg to Passau and then we drove it up here. <laughs> and now we're driving it away from Wolfsburg and someone's gonna pick it up again. Yeah, yeah, we're tired, two kilometers more than we have 2,000 kilometers the trip, except for Hamburg is fine. Soon we're gonna charge again in Magdeburg. Oh, almost, ui, ui, ui. And we drove 200 kilometers with the bus. We drove a lot. Yeah, we noticed one thing right away, ID bus is louder than this car more comfy but this is quieter yay 2000 kilometers it's gonna be more a uh, seven six seven hundred more I think six hundred Sorry that it's so loud, stupid truck that has to be cooled. <coughs> okay, a few things charging. On the way down, we already passed Leipzig uh, in uh, around, I think Lüneburger Heide, the Ionity. We had a little loaded traffic jam, so charging traffic jam. There, there were, the charger were all occupied, but one left after, after two minutes and we charged. Um, then we went on and there was one spot free but then it was everything was occupied and there were four uh, on, a, on a next charger in I don't know the name <laughs> um, and with only four Ionities and two EMBWs or uh, uh, hyperchargers and they were all occupied then but we could charge then we went here Leipzig uh, Nempitz where I charge a lot, it has six Ionity stalls, nothing else, Tesla superchargers. Two were broken and the other four, three were occupied and one Audi e-tron just came and we were at 8% and I said, ah, let's go to the next charge, I'm not gonna wait. And I looked, uh, that there's an Aral Pulse here and this one is free and it's just two kilometers from the highway and it works, we're charging, as always, 177 kilowatts. We arrived with 2%. <laughs> with four kilometers of range, it was not a lot. And uh, yeah, and now we go down to the same charger we were on the way up, which was our first charger. Uh, should be 170 kilometers. We have to charge to 70 percent, and then the next will be our last charger. I think Straubing or MBW. We'll see. But that's it. And he got his coffee. He needs his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah, <laughs> we're being watched by a trucker. 
Uh, yeah, but drive is is fine. Finally, traffic got better when we were on the highway down Leipzig. What is it, A7 or something? Since then, it's way better traffic. Before then, it was a lot of traffic, and we could barely drive uh, uh, our 140 kilometers an hour that we want to drive for travel. <laughs> Our last charging session. We're tired. Yeah. We want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, it's been a long day. Let's look at it. Oh. What do we have? I, I take a picture when I'm home. I'm not going to film again. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. We drove. Where do we have it? Do it in the middle. It's just bigger and easier. We drove 1,229 kilometers. We still have 70 or so kilometers home. Overall, 2,550. Uh, I take pictures and show you when I'm home. <laughs> oh my. Here I go beep. It's beeping because ignition is on. Doesn't like that. It's fine. Okay, car worked fine, <laughs> but like I said, we, we're we're really tired now, and not not that we we it's dangerous or anything, but it's been a while, and it, it's less exhausting than driving alone. So me going alone to to uh, Wolfsburg, 700 kilometers, is way more e exhausting than this changing changing uh, uh, who's driving after every charge um, yeah <laughs>